of power, not just this House, not just the other House, Parliament. And I would urge noble lords to really reflect on that. Will the, no will the noble lady, will the noble lady agree with me that that we should we should not ditch the principles of this House in order to please or pander to public opinion? My lords, my lords, my lords, my lords I was not my able lords. to be present at uh, second my reading. Lords. My lords, and my in lords. looking at this amendment, lords, yes. which is what this is about. My lord, my lord, it is this amendment that I hear from the Labour Lord Naysby, then hear from the Lord Tugendhat, unless there's anybody else wishes to speak. We'll move on to the front benches uh, to conclude this debate. My lords, I shall be brief, but I concur with what my noble friend has just said. We forget, in relation to this amendment, the effect this is having on the ordinary people outside. They knew what they were voting about when they voted at the referendum. They were fed up with the way small restrictions were put on their life, more regulations were put on their lives. They were fed up with that, whether they were individuals or whether they were businesses. And we have to recognise that fact. Now, in relation to this amendment, it was my privilege in the other place to Chairman of Ways and Means. 500 amendments to the Maastricht Bill, many more chucked out. And they were thrown out, the ones that were not successful, because they were out of order. They were wrecking amendments. They were amendments that were defective. And I find it quite extraordinary that your Lordship's House is spending several hours here on what is basically a defective amendment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are better ways. Now, if the Lord Panic isn't capable of putting down an amendment that is in order, then so be it. But he's a highly creative lawyer, and there are other lawyers looking on the liberal, liberal benches who perhaps can produce amendment that is not defective, in which case this House should rightly debate it. But as we stand here today, this amendment is defective on all four of the uh, uh, elements of it. And noble lords should bear in mind that it is not wise for our House to vote on amendments that have huge implications and which are defective. It is much more sensible to take it back or maybe on another occasion find some means to move forward. And we come ultimately to the ultimate situation. I trust our Prime Minister. I trust uh, the noble member David Davis to negotiate well. I trust them to do their very best for the ordinary people who have voted for it all. And so, frankly, what we are doing this <coughs> afternoon, if we're doing anything, is to undermine the public's confidence in this House. Now, confidence is a very, very delicate flower. And it affects not just us here, not just the public. It affects all the nation, all the businesses, all commerce. And we should not be undermining that confidence. So I suggest certainly I will not be voting for this amendment. Yeah. Yeah. My Lords, as the House knows, I speak as one who very much regrets the result of the referendum.